Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by Anish Giri and Vishwanathan Anand. The game was played at Ultibox Norway Chess 2017 in round 4. Anish Giri started with c4 English opening, e5, we see this reversed Sicilian knight c3, bishop b4, knight d5, bishop c5, e3, knight f6, b4, knight takes d5, pawn takes c5, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6, bishop e2, black castles, bishop b2, d6, c takes d6, c takes d6, white castles, rook e8, a4, b6, d3, bishop g4, h3, bishop h5, g4, bishop g6, knight h4, and rook c8. In this position, black has a very beautiful move, knight takes g4. If knight takes g6, then black has this knight h6 move. Not knight f6, in order not to close the diagonal. And after knight h6, it turns out that this knight on g6 is trapped. So, white has to give up his knight, and after d takes e5, we see a position where white king is exposed, though of course this bishop can always cover white king. But this is an equal position, though of course Anand, as I have already mentioned in this position, played rook c8. Knight takes g6, h takes g6, bishop f3, bringing the bishop onto the long diagonal where it is very active, and also after g5, bishop g2, it protects white king. Knight d7, f4, g takes f4, e takes f4, knight c5, f takes e5, d takes e5, bishop d5, putting pressure on f7 pawn. Rook f8, well, this looks a very passive defensive move. A better move is rook e7 or rook c7 is also possible. We see rook f8, queen f3 putting more pressure on f7, queen d7, bishop c3 taking under control this b4 square in order not to allow any knight b4 move and an exchange with this bishop on d5. We see knight e6, rook e1, knight e7, and Giri wins that weakened pawn on e5. Knight takes d5, rook takes d5, and a bad move by Anand, queen takes a4. Actually, that move is just losing on the spot. A better move is queen e7 or queen c7. But after queen a4, Giri had a very strong move. Can you find the winning move in this position? Well, Giri played g5, but the winning move is rook h5, threatening queen f5. And of course, if you play something like g6, this diagonal is being weakened. There are so many mating threats. If rook c5, then bishop e5. If f6, then queen f5. After the game, during the press conference, Giri said that after knight g5, in this position he missed that white has a very strong d4 move. And yes, after d4, just black's position is collapsing. If queen takes c4, then d takes c5, and this is winning for white. Let's go back. After queen takes a4, we see g5, rook c5, h4, rook takes d5, c takes d5, and another bad move by Anand, knight c5. A better move was queen takes h4. If d takes e6, then queen takes g5 check. King h2, queen h6 check. King g2, queen takes e6. Black has three pawns against the bishop. Well, probably with a slight advantage for white. But after knight c5, white played g6. And after queen d7, bishop b4. Anand resigned. Right now the knight on c5 is pinned and white is threatening d4. There is no way to avoid that threat and black is losing. I think that this was a very instructive game how Giri managed to use the weakened f7 pawn and throughout the whole game he put pressure on that square and eventually won the game. 
your comments and questions please and thanks for watching good luck